Hello. In this video, we'll look at how the packaging of SMT components affects our manufacturing process. The most common packaging choice is tape and reel. A reel can hold thousands of small parts or hundreds of larger ones. If you don't need that many components, some distributors will break up a manufacturer's standard reel to create mini reels with a custom number of parts. Or you can get cut tape with 10 to several hundred components per strip. Tubes are another option. And trays are popular for larger components especially. And finally, some components are sold in bulk. Reels are the easiest for manufacturers to use. They are easy to load into the SMT pick and place machine. They hold many parts, so they don't need much intervention once loaded. And when they do need to be changed, this can be done without stopping the line. So they are the obvious choice for high volume production. Reels make sense for lower volume production as well. Since you can get a reel of 5,000 passives for less than $10, it just doesn't make sense to buy smaller quantities in less convenient packaging. In fact, it might actually cost you more. Reels come with a leader, a section of tape that has no parts on it, for starting into the automated feeder. If you don't have this leader, you'll waste these first parts in the machine. How many parts depends on the machine. Cut tape doesn't have a leader, so you need to allow for waste parts on each tape if you want to use it in an automated feeder. Or we could take the time to add a leader to every tape, but in manufacturing, time is money. Some machines, such as our My Data Lines, can use the tray feeder to pick components from cut tape as well as from trays. Trays and tape have lower capacity than reels and need to be changed more often, stopping the line if they're changed manually. Tubes also need to be changed frequently. A multi-tube magazine cuts down on the handling but it takes up the space of several reels, which is a problem for boards with a lot of different part types. Bulk components are our least favorite. They need to be placed manually. Sometimes we load them into trays for automated placement, but your distributor can do this for a lot less money than we can. Our pick and place lines and production teams are flexible enough so that we can work with any packaging type that our customers supply. Not all contract manufacturers can do this. It pays to work with your manufacturing partner and understand how your choice of component packaging affects the manufacturing process, reliability, and cost. Contact Z-Axis for more information.